seconds. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah.
disposition. As a matter of fact, I had a bill. Of course, I don't. I haven't met very many people outside of Washington like Obamacare. But opting out of the system is a good idea. At least that's halfway. You don't get rid of all the just, just allow yourself the right to opt out. But why can't we opt out of the rest of the government that we're bearing on us too? And just say. about inflation, all you have to do is read the daily paper today. Commodity prices are soaring. What's happened to energy prices? They're soaring. And uh, you'd think they say, oh, well, maybe prices are going up because the value of the dollar are going down. But, you know, that's not the case. Today, I saw on TV, they were explaining why prices were high. Well, it, it was the weather. Foreigners were buying too much stuff. Uh, the uh, labor costs were up. People were making too much profit. Never once did they say, well, the prices are going up because the value of the dollar is going down. The value of the dollar is going down because the Federal Reserve earns too much money. Woo! There's no reason why you can't relate the deficit to the monetary policy. Yes, you can have deficits with a, with a sound monetary system. Matter of fact, uh, that was one of the shortcomings, in my viewpoint, in the Constitution. They allowed borrowing. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the federal government was allowed to borrow. But let's say we uh, didn't have the Federal Reserve, and we had big government. They're spending too much money. They tax. They know there's a limit to the taxation because eventually it drives down economic growth. There's nobody left to tax anymore. Then they would have to borrow. Well, they're borrowing a whole, an awful lot now, but uh, interest rates haven't gone up. That's because of the Fed. Now, if you didn't have a Fed and Congress spent too much, interest rates would go up and they would have to quit. So I call the Fed the great facilitator. Without the Fed, you can't be financing undeclared, unwinnable wars around the world and you couldn't finance the un unsustainable welfare state. So you need to deal with the monetary system and the Federal Reserve. This is why I, I'm encouraged a whole lot with people like you in last year. You know, we had this little bill, uh, Transparency of the Federal Reserve, the Audit the Fed bill. You know, yeah. Woo! Let it go, Ron! We ended up with every Republican congressman supported the bill, and a, a lot of the Democrats, we actually got it passed through, through the House. So transparency of the Federal Reserve is an issue that transcends and, and, and is bipartisan and a lot of independents support this because we live in an age now where people are waking up. They're sick and tired of the government stealing our privacy and all they do is protect their secrecy. We want to know what the government's doing and we want our privacy back. Uh, expect to get our privacy back, we have to be very careful in the laws that we pass. After 9-11, you know, there was a lot of fear, a lot of people were frightened, and a lot of people said to me personally, I know how you feel about this, Ron, but these are tough situations and we have to give up some of our freedoms for our safety. Whoa. And I agree. I say baloney. You never have to give up any liberty to be safe. Matter of fact, when you do, you're less safe, and that's where, where we are today. <laughs> our government uh, doesn't protect our privacy, but it doesn't do the other things they're supposed to do. They're supposed to provide for a strong national defense. We spend more money than everybody else in the world, but I don't feel safer. Matter of fact, what I see happening in the Middle East and around the world, it's endless spending, it's endlessly propping up with a military industrial complex, it's just looking around for picking which dictator that we're going to support. Just think, we pumped in $70 billion propping up Mubarak. And now we're just looking around for the next dictator to prop up. I don't believe in any foreign aid propping up anybody 